politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fula. Now, President Museveni's son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, has said Uganda will send its troops, that is a UPDF, to Moscow in case of an imperialist threat. Now, in his own words, he said, I Call me Putinist if you want. We Uganda should send soldiers to defend Moscow if ever it was threatened by imperialists. Uh, the West is wasting its time with useless pro Ukrainian propaganda. Now, it should be remembered that Uganda has abstained from UN votes on the Ukrainian conflict, including one in February on the first anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which called on Moscow to withdraw its troops from the country. Now, in July, during a tour of Africa by Russian Foreign Minister, that is Jay Lavrov, Genom Hozi Kanerugava, President Museveni's son, said, How can we be against someone who has never hurt us? Russia has traditionally had strong ties to Africa because of its support for independence movements on the continent that were then struggling with colonial powers. Now, three weeks ago, Julia Selo Malema, a South African politician who is a member of parliament and the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, a left-wing party which he founded in 2013, made a statement in support of Putin and Russia as a whole. Putin is welcomed here. And no one is going to arrest Putin. Now, the former president of the African National Congress Youth League stated to the ICC, that is the International Criminal Court, that Putin, president of Russia, is welcomed in South Africa and they would not make a mistake of arresting him as per calls by the United Nations. If needs be, we'll go and fetch Putin from the airport to his meeting. He will address, finish all his meetings, we'll take him back to the airport. Now, his speech further go on to acknowledge the human rights crimes of Europe and the United States of America that haven't been accounted for, such as the invasion of Iraq and the killing of Gaddafi. Uh, he would further go on to state that we know our friends, we know the people who supported us. We're not going to be told by these hypocrites of the International Criminal Court who know the real violators of human rights, who know the murderers of this world. That former uh, premier, uh, uh, prime minister of uh, Tony Blair admitted that they made a horrible mistake when it comes to Saddam Hussein. They have not been charged today. Bush is still there. They have not been charged till to date. And then Obama killed Gaddafi. And then nothing has happened. We are here today with Libya being destroyed and unable to recover because of America. We know very well that where NATO gets involved, those are terrorists. We know very well where the U.S. says we are going in to uh, install peace. That place will never know peace as long as America has visited that place. So... We don't want uh, ICC's hypocrisy to apply here in our country. Well, of course, that is the latest update from uh, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's camp. Uh, we don't know how soon Uganda is ready to send its troops, that is a UPDF, to Moscow uh, to defend Russia. But of course, in case of any updates, I'll be keeping you posted right here on uh, the Buzz UG. Uh, my name is Amela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.